kick. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy that singer reactions coming to y'all with different twists, 25 most evil serial killers of the 20th century. <sighs> now I'm only doing this because this is Halloween, so I'm doing some scary shit. So um we gonna jump into this. Uh like I said before, I'm gonna every now and again mix it up, throw a little bit of curveball in there. Um, and this should be interesting. This definitely should be interesting. Uh, I already see Ted Bundy on the list. You know, this dude was a whole pervert. But yeah, play. Look at Ted Bundy. Number 25, David Berkowitz. Known as the Son of Sam, he carried out a series of shootings around New York City in the summer of 1976. He taunted the police with threats and letters, but was eventually caught. Number 24, Edmund Kemper. Known as the co-ed killer, Kemper's oh, American just right serial killer like who murdered his grandparents when he was 15. He later killed and dismembered six female hitchhikers around Santa Cruz, California, and finally murdered his own mother and her friend before turning himself in. He asked for the death penalty, but did not receive it. Tuh. Number 23, Larry Bittaker oh and God. Roy Norris. Nicknamed the Toolbox Killers, these two murdered five oh. young women in California in 1979. Look at his face, They lured face, them into bro. their van and drove them to secluded areas before raping, torturing, and murdering them using a number of tools. Norris eventually testified against Bittaker and was spared You can't penalty. look at people and just tell Number 22, Ian Brady and Mira Hindley. They killed five children between 1963 and 65 man, in Manchester, pause. England. Look at this this lady. Come on, man. She's giving me Frankenstein with a bob. Like, or she's just giving me, yeah, like this Marilyn Monroe Frankenstein. Just, I mean, you can't tell that's a serial killer. Like, come on. I mean, I'm judging this book by the cover. I mean, look at her. And him, my God play their victims were between the ages of 10 and 17 and were sexually assaulted before being brutally murdered hindley died in prison wait is that even a woman in maximum confinement oh no nah, 21 nah. kenneth bianchi and angelo buono in 1978 these two cousins kidnapped raped and strangled 10 girls above the hills of los angeles which led to their name the Psycho hillside Pass, stranglers man. both were sentenced to life in prison Number 20, Dennis Rader. Oh, BTK yeah, the BTK killer. Between 1974 and 1991, he movie. murdered 10 people around Wichita, Kansas. He sent letters to the police under the name BTK, which stood for Bind, Torture, Kill. He disappeared in 1988, but then reemerged in 2005 when he sent a floppy disk to the press. Are you serious? The disk was traced, and he was convicted to life in prison. He's stupid. Number 19. Donald Gaskins. That's what you get. In 1969, he began picking up and torturing hitchhikers on highways in the American South. That's why you don't stop he for He later nobody. claimed that he killed 80 to 90 people. He was eventually caught and put on death row, and he then went on to commit a further murder in the high school prison, to no black becoming people. the only know man that. to have ever killed an inmate on death row. Because I ain't stopping. Number 18, my... Peter Manuel. An American-born Scottish serial killer, he murdered nine people across southern Scotland between 1956 and 1958. He was caught after he paid with banknotes taken from one of the victims and was one of the last prisoners to be hanged in Scotland before the abolition of capital punishment. Number 17. John George Hay. Known as the acid bath murderer, he would charm wealthy individuals into believing that he was a successful businessman. He would then lure them to a warehouse and shoot them after which he dissolved their bodies in sulfuric acid. Mm. He was hanged at Wandsworth Prison. Number 16. Getting... Fred and Rose West. Between 1967 and 1987, Fred West and his wife Rose tortured, raped, and killed at least 11 young girls at their home in Gloucester, which was later nicknamed the House of Horrors. After being caught, wow. Fred hung himself in his prison cell. Their house was also demolished to discourage souvenir hunters. Number 15. Arthur Shawcross. Known as the Genesee River Killer, Shawcross Everybody was initially known in prison for something. raping and killing an 8-year-old girl. He was released, however, and went on to brutally kill 12 prostitutes. 
He was sentenced to 250 years, but died of heart failure in 2008. Number 14, Good. Peter Sutcliffe. Known as the Yorkshire Ripper, he was convicted of murdering 13 women around Leeds in Jesus northern England. Christ. He was caught for driving with false number plates and eventually sentenced to life in prison. Number 13, Richard Ramirez. Yeah, yeah I heard about an him. An American serial killer and Satan worshiper, he terrorized Los Angeles between 1984 and 1985. He had some, like, evil saying the night stalker, He broke into homes, shooting, stabbing, raping, and mutilating his victims. He was sentenced to death but died in prison in June of 2013. Number 12, too- Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh-oh. Known as the Milwaukee Cannibal, oh, Dahmer we know raped, who he murdered, is. and dismembered 17 men and boys between 1978 and 1991. He also exhibited necrophilia in eight parts of his later victims. He, he was eventually he was. caught when a would-be victim overpowered him, and not long after that, he was beaten to death by a fellow inmate at the Columbia yeah. Correctional Institution. He was sick, Number 11, real. Dennis Nilsson. He should have been way further down The British down equivalent list. of Jeffrey Dahmer, Nilsson murdered 15 men at his home in London between 1978 and 1983. He dissected their bodies and flushed their remains down the toilet. When human flesh was discovered in the sewer system, this led to his arrest. He's still being held at full Sutton Maximum Security Prison in Yorkshire, England. Number 10, Ted Bundy. One of the most widely known yeah. murderers of the 20th century, that's, that's, Ted that's killed a legend. numerous women in the 1970s. I'm a serial killer. He typically lured his victims into secluded places a, before raping and look. killing them. He kept at least 12 decapitated heads in his apartment as trophies, and he managed to escape police custody twice, but was eventually executed in Florida. Mm. Number 9, Charles Ng and Leonard Lake. Believed to have raped and killed 25 victims in Calaveras County, California, they filmed themselves raping and torturing them. Their crimes eventually came to light after Lake committed suicide and Ng was caught shoplifting. He tried to flee to Canada but was eventually returned to the U.S. and put on death row. This is... Number 8, John Wayne Gacy. Oh! Gacy sexually assaulted and murdered 30 young men between 1972 and 1978 around Chicago, He was the most normal He lured them to his home before strangling them and spent 14 years on normal. death row before being executed in 1994. Number 7, Andrei Chikatilo. The Soviet serial killer nicknamed the Butcher of Rostov raped, murdered, and mutilated at least 52 women like in Jack Russia Ripper between 1978 and 1990. He was caught after police suspected him and conducted surveillance. He was then executed by firing squad two years later. Mm. Number 6, Tommy Lynn Sells. Claiming to have killed 70 people, Sells was eventually captured after breaking into the bedroom of a 10-year-old girl, stabbing her, and leaving her for dead. Oh my she survived God. and managed to alert the neighbors. He was sentenced to death in Livingston, Texas. Good. Number 5. Gary Ridgway Having been convicted of 49 murders throughout Washington State, Child, I know, managed uh, to avoid uh, the death Hitler penalty after giving detailed confessions of his crimes. Number 4. Pedro Rodriguez Filho Committing his first murder at the age of 14, he started out by killing local drug dealers in his Brazilian neighborhood to avenge his girlfriend who was killed while he was in prison. He was eventually caught and sent back to prison where he killed his father who was also there for murder. He went on to kill 47 more inmates while in prison. Number 3. Daniel Camargo Barbosa This Colombian serial killer is believed to have raped and murdered over 80 girls in Colombia in the 70s and 80s. He was captured, and after his escape, he went on My to kill God, 70 more girls in Ecuador. Like after raping them, he would shit. hack them apart with a machete. He was eventually sentenced to 16 years in prison, which is the maximum allowed in Ecuador. He was then murdered by a relative years? of one of his victims while in prison. Number two, Dr. Harold Shipman. Oh, look at this. One of the most prolific serial killers in recorded history, this English doctor is said to be responsible for up to 250 murders. It was eventually Please, discovered that he was poisoning shit. his patients and forging their wills. He hung himself in prison in 2004. And number one, Pedro Alonso Lopez. This Colombian serial killer is accused of raping and killing over 300 girls across South America. Wow. He was arrested when an attempted abduction failed and he was trapped by market traders. He confessed, but police only believed him when a flash flood uncovered a mass grave containing many of his victims. Jeez, a flash flood did that? If you liked the video you just saw, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by using the orange button in the top right. And don't forget to go check out our website at list25.com for more awesome lists. That's different. Um, Jeffrey Dahmer should have been more down that list. Uh, At least, I mean, out of everybody that I heard, he the only one that was eating them. You know what I'm saying? He the only one that was eating them. I mean... Put some disrespect on this man's name. He was eating his victims. He was sick. 
he was actually like they all sick okay like but Jeffrey Dahmer ugh, he was he was he was sick 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 I even heard a uh, funny story they were saying on the news that he has a the, the home that he mutilated his victims and stuff in actually went up for sale in Ohio somewhere um but it was completely like revamped like didn't look like his old house or anything like that but still who's going to buy that who's going I would never purchase a house that somebody like him has ever lived in there's no way please we turned down the house before because the lights was too dark in the basement we not we not please so yeah that was the uh top 10 no top 25 most evil serial killers of the 20th century so yeah thank y'all so much for watching comment like subscribe follow me on all my social media platforms which is one twitter which is that singer do my other channel is that singer discussions also my patreon is in the description where you can get exclusive access early content and you can get special requests do not forget that um yeah until next video i love y'all